been some things said about that tonight. This is one of my primary things. And exact everything that Will said, and especially what Dan said, is about burden our younger people. I don't think anybody would want to do that. It's about taking responsibility and being proactive and doing that. In the last, from 2007 to 2011, if you look at the yellow line, our county fund balance, we were taking a dip in 2007, but that came from some of this DSS thing and a few other little problems over here. 4.64% and now we're at 26%. We're not doing quite as good that we're going to be this time. I'm not 100% sure because we've appropriated some dollars out of that looking at it. But our fund balance is still around 2.9 million to 3 million dollars. And we had, um, I forgot what the number was, but if you look at those lines, you see the incline that is dramatically, and the one that's on the low side here going up, that's Gates County. Low up here at five, all the way up to the mid 26 percent. This is off the North Carolina State Treasury site, and you might get a lot of world of information from that, graphs and etc. Data by all kinds of things that you can analyze and look at. 47 percent of the revenue stream in 2011 came from you, the taxpayers of Gates County. Property tax only. Property tax only, 47%. Right. Sales tax, 9%. <coughs> Obviously, we know what in Gates County, we don't have a whole lot of uh, revenue. And it's something we talked about this morning in um, PSS. Let me get put this in perspective to you. The food stamp program in North Carolina last year was $2.3 billion. Our, our state budget is $20 billion. And I took, Jeff sent me those, I took those and sorted those by amount of revenue that came back to your county. Gates County, we were number 98 out of 100. We had $2.3 million gone out and only 801,000 captured in our county. We were number 98 out of 100. So, Look at our sales tax number. Obviously, we don't want nothing to buy. This is our debt. I don't know where we send our expenditures. Education, 22%. Debt service, 12 Human services, 16 Then the other categories of that, public safety, which for me, obviously, education and public safety are not too high priorities. This summer, this is what was in the news in the Gates County Index. Good audit reveals good news. County's fund balance grows by $560,000. This is what generated the charts and everything, but this is really the primary focus on what do we do? And it's been talked about a lot of times, retire your debt. You know, the big one, uh, we've done two others, but this right here was our DSS loan. It was taken out at $1,884,920 for 30 years at 4.25%. On the far right hand corner, we were going to spend, with this $1,884,000, it was going to cost us $1,485,000 in interest. Okay? On 2013 or 12, right here, our balance, still principal balance, we paid 386000 or $388,000. And $1,709,000 we still owe to debt well today. And I think Renee, uh, Sandy sent me, it will be on, and I asked her for the 25th, whatever day that is. One million seven hundred ten thousand. Well, what do we do? Well, we came up with ten and fifteen years. And I don't work on your ten-year loan. You would save eight hundred and eighty, eight 
it is the right balance between a 2.89% loan and a 2.19% loan. If you went to the bank to borrow money, which one rate would you rather have? 289 or 219? Well, you got to be proactive. All right, next scenario. We decide we don't spend 50, we spend 100 today. Well, you just saved yourself $25,000 right today. Ooh. Your obligation went down by $25,000. If the bank calls a note tomorrow, you're going to pay $25,000 less than you originally would. That's 5.8%. It still gives you the same 24% return. 24 said 22 divided by 100. 24% return. Now, you have a lost opportunity here. This is one payment now. One payment of 100 grand. You lost $184,000 of opportunity. You make your two payments today and make eight more. Now, You've saved $143,000 and you've captured 34% of the savings. That originally had a 42% return, you captured 34,000 by making an incremental 100 today versus a 50. And you've only squandered away $65,000. You still have the opportunity to change. Call time out next year. Can't do it no more. You stop. And this is what Jack addressed this when we were first talking about this. This is what Jack introduced our dad was saying about this situation. Well, it does. I don't like to give up the rate, but you know, you had a compromise sometimes. But I like saving money. I like making money. And this is the way you do it. You have no other opportunities to get can to do that other than something like this. So now let's look. On our balance sheet, June 30th, we had, in the NC Cap Management Trust Fund, we had $1,959,000 in the trust fund. It earned $10,590 for the year, 0.54%. That's what it earned, 0.54%. So let's go take $50,000 out of that. We saved the 12, and that's 25% savings, 24.65. Same thing if you do two payments a day, you save 25,000. Same 25% return. Which return would you rather have? The 0.5 or the 25%? Which would you choose? If you took that $50,000, and the hundred thousand dollars, going rate one percent, two percent. You annualize this compound for ten years. At the end of ten years, the fifty thousand would only generate five thousand dollars. First year would only generate five hundred dollars. Right up here, five hundred dollars, fifty thousand at five hundred at one percent will yield five hundred dollars. Compound it for 10 years, like I said, you come up with 52,000. Same, you go down to the 100, you got 10, which is double again. But it's just good business sense. It addresses the problem of whether you can do it next year, or you can do it this year. The thing about it is, can we do it today? Well, we got $2.9 billion. We We've done several projects, uh, 73,000, 100,000, 35, just all the day. It was 30, I forgot what the escapes was. Just like this. No return. This has a return. And that's why I'm so 